Awesome hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of Cube Series Zio, Zio 4. You gotta see it, it's coming, no. Cube Series Zero 4 uh, Geo Elephant. Um, I guess, is this Zero 01? Not, that's not right. Okay, this is like the first one released, but it is Cube 4. I'm just used to saying that pattern of series numbers from Auxiliary Mech and Ghost Change, but just know, this is an uh, individual Zord release, sort of released like an auxiliary Zord, but it is, you know, part of the Core 5. So that was just a mess of an intro. I kind of don't want to cut it out because I enjoyed that Zeo joke, to be honest with you. But let's just move past it and take a look at the box. Um, so, sort of smallish box compared to some other releases, but definitely bigger than giraffes. You got a cool shot of Elephant here, just sort of shows what it does. Shows how it combines. Cool shot of Jungle Fury Elephant Ranger. No, but, uh, you know, Geo Elephant right there. Um, all that stuff. Um, on the back, show you how it works again. Here's a lineup of all of them, including the, as of this video, unreleased Gorilla. So that will be coming soon. So yeah, pretty typical box fair stuff. Here it is in its uh, cube mode. I feel like this is one of the most obvious ones. Why did my voice always do that? I always turn into Gaja all of a sudden. Uh, but like, you can totally see the elephant's face in it, and I feel like... I mean, obviously on a lot of them, you can see like the back of where the legs are going to be and stuff, or the waist, or whatever. But this one has like clear face on there. So it's the least good at hiding that. Now I did, there's like a, a fridge noise and I apologize if you can hear that. I really can't do anything about that. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this is its cube mode. Really nothing special to write home about there. Uh, to transform it is very easy. Just pull this out and underneath here is its trunk. And then just take this bit here and you also just pull it out. And it, it's gonna look like funny, but it will stand. Like what looks sort of funny about it is uh, the fact that these legs here are shifted to the side, so it gives it this odd perspective. But to be honest, this is probably my favorite individual animal because this odd slant aside, I don't know necessarily exactly what it is, but I just really dig it. I think it looks really unique. It's probably the cube-like design. Um, that just makes it a pretty unique looking elephant mech, to, to be honest. Like, I just, I don't know, I, I really like him quite a lot. I think he's one of the more unique looking ones, uh, to be sure. And as usual, it's pretty simple. Like I said in Kieran's review, I'm probably going to touch on this for the next few reviews, but I like the simplicity of these, and their blockiness is, like, intentional, so, like, I'm not fully understanding people complaining, essentially, about this line doing what it's supposed to be. I mean, it's based on, like, this blocky theme. So it's like, yes, it's going to be blocky, and they're very simplistic, and that's, they're doing what they're supposed to be. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to get, like, uh, ranty at you guys or anything, but I just thought I'd bring that up. But yeah, regardless, I just really, really like this mode, to be honest, even if it looks a little funky with the slant there. I think it's one of the more unique looking ones. Okay, then to combine it, as you could probably tell, is going to be, uh, super simple stuff. Um, this is the legs here. All you're going to be doing is bringing in uh, Juo King, and I'm not even going to like bother uh, folding red back up if that's cool with you guys. If I get like a lot of hate, I'll switch it. But just pull that out, uh, take yellows off, and just snap it on top, and then we'll put his head back in. Simple as that. And that's what he does if you just have him, you just get new legs. Obviously, uh, when you get uh, tigers, which I'll probably do, you can put both of them on there. He'll be a part of a later formation too. And then also part of, well, co coming soon transformation once the other stuff releases. And then obviously he'll be part of the larger transformations as well. But if you just buy this guy and you have Jewel King, all you get is some new slippers for elephant powers. So honestly, that's not the most exciting thing about this release. Uh, it's just nothing too special there. But um, if you are collecting the line, I do recommend picking him up because, well, A, I really dig his animal mode personally, and also he's going to be more useful um, in later combinations than if you just have Juo King. But so yeah, definitely recommend this one, one of my personal favorites individually, and will add to formations down the line. But anyway, that's pretty much about it. That's another thing I like about these reviews, is they're really simple to film, and they're really fun to film for me. But anyway, that's about it. Again, until uh, next time, make sure you check out the crazy podcast at writersrangerrambles.com. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.